it picks up about three to the 29. Yeah, and, and listen, offensively, you run the RPOs. You just want positive yards. Make the right read. Read the guy. If he wants to drop back a little bit, hand it off. Get some positive yards. Go on to the next play. And he was drilled just as he released the pass. It's incomplete. And that's a play on third down. The give from the gun. He's there to make the stop. Well, they're trying to run the football there. Just nowhere to go. They got dominated up front at the point of attack. Here we go. It's a draw. On the move at the 30. And he gets it up to the 36. It'll be a first down. Here's his offense with a fresh set of downs. Touch pass on the jet sweep. Nice move there. And I think they'll give him two on that one. Second and eight coming up. He kept it on the ground on first down. Now back to the line. Give to the back. And he runs through one tackle and picks up a few. I like this guy as a running back because he can run between the tackles and he can also go outside. He can really do it all. They'll try to run for it. And he's tripped up, but not before picking up the first down. Been really impressed watching this offense this year, how good they are on third down. The reason they're so efficient, they don't have penalties, they keep these third downs manageable, and they've got a special talent at running back that can find his way to the sticks. Got three on first down at second and seven. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. And he has a solid game before the defense bottles him up. I think that was an example of the offensive coordinator trying to help out his quarterback. He's trying to keep these third downs manageable. You know, you throw the ball on second down and it's incomplete. Now you've set up third and long, and now you're set up the fair. Going to run it. It's McDonald. Strong run. Picks up six down to the 22-yard line. Six-yard pickup on first down. Leaves him with second and four. He's looking to throw. And the defense, they've got him at the 27. Well, this guy's become a bit of a problem for opposing offenses. In their last game, he had two sacks, and he's dominating again, getting his first sack in this game now. He right now is wrecking people's game plans, and this offense better find out. A shot toward the end zone, and swatted down by the defense to stop the scoring opportunity. And the offense got themselves in a tough... Wants to throw on first down. Fires left. He's got an open man. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. Fresh set of downs after the completion. They'll throw it on first down. Get it out on the screen. Not able to break the big one on that screen to the running back, but he found enough and a solid pickup on first down. The offense wastes no time getting the timeout call. This offense has a second down play. He's looking to throw, getting some heat. He fires a bullet to the right. And perhaps a touchdown saving tackle as he gets him down at the 37. And the Terrapins will snap it on first and 10. Looking to move it through the air. And the quarterback will be slung down back at the 43. They'll immediately call timeout. And he gets home again, continuing his production. Last week, two sacks. This week, already a sack in the first half. This guy has been on a sack terror. That pass is incomplete, and they might be fortunate. It wasn't not free for a fumble. It'll be third down. I'm not positive, but that first down marker might be in the next county. Unloads to the wideout. 
complete to the left. The offense uses the timeout to stop the clock, and they'll get a quick breather. Timeout. Time dwindling away as they try to put points on the board right before the half. Going up top on first down. Throws to the wideout. Makes the catch. Gets out of bounds after the big game, but they've got it first and goal. Defense is backed up. Shadow of the goalpost trying to defend their own end zone. Looking for the score. It falls incomplete. He was trying to find his man for six. Can the defense stop them again on second and goal? He's looking to throw. They're trying to get to it. They make the stop, and that is the end of the first half. First half in the books. Time now to join Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Thanks, guys. A first half that saw a little bit of everything there in College Park. And I get it. A lot of coaches will say the difference between winning and losing comes down to stopping big plays and getting big plays. But if you ask me, it's more about how good you are on third down and how efficient you are in keeping drives alive. Those two stats can help you break the will of even the best defenses and help you come out on top. And with that, let's send it back to the guys inside the shell. Looking for a gap. It's McDonald. Good blocking, good running pickup of six out to the 30. Got six on first down. Now a lot of options on second and four. He's looking to throw. And he was hit just as he released it. It falls to the turf. And that, and that was good defense again. And unfortunately, we've been saying that all game long. Really, really good defense. Or, listen, you can spin on the other side. This offense has really been bad. Another incompletion on third down. Defense did a great job. Third and short on the opponent's side of the field. They're expecting quick throw. Are you ready? Here we go. They'll try the run. Hines a good hold there and gets four to give them a little breathing room out to the five. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. He's looking to throw. Gets it out fast. Some tough running there to create a little space and get it out to the 10. So third and short from inside the 20. You convert here, and this drive takes on a different complexion. They'll try to get it through the air. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. Well, the defense has the opponent backed up in their own end. Got it. Keeping it on the ground with the running back. Finds that crease, and he's got four out to the 29. Well, this offense came into the game knowing they wanted to be physical, they wanted to establish the line of scrimmage, and they're running downhill right at this defense, and they're churning out positive yardage early. He's there to make the stop, and they threw it in reverse, losing yardage on that play. Third down conversions, always a huge stat, and they've got a third and long from the 27. Got his man downfield. And he's running in the open. And he ran away from the defense to take it in. Touchdown, Terrapin! Speed kills this offense. They've got multiple guys that can burn you. You can see it doesn't take them long to light up the scoreboard. From the shotgun, the handoff to the back. And the defense snows him under after a very short game. Didn't get much on first down in second and nine. From the gun, leaves it on the inside with the back. 
Now trying to keep this drive alive on third and long from the 45. From the gun, wants to pass. And that's incomplete. A defender all over him. Knocked the ball to the ground. Fourth down coming up. This is a... To the air on first down. Feeling some heat. And he was hit just as he was releasing the pass, and it falls to the ground incomplete. And they'll line up for a second down play. After the incompletion, back to the passing game. Rush coming in hot, and they got him at the 29. And they don't want to waste this great field position here on third and long. Oh, it's a missed opportunity. You know the quarterback was excited. He saw man coverage. He thought he was going to have an opportunity to come up with a big play, but up front, they could not protect the ball. And quarterback John. They'll run the ball. The clock is on their side. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Not what they had in mind to start this drive. Here comes second and 13. He'll try the left side. Gets the nose of the ball to the 25. Give him one. Well, this offense thinks that they have enough left in the tank here to run the football and run all the time off the clock. They got the lead late. Didn't get the first down on that last one, but it's not going to surprise anybody if they turn around and hand it off again. Here. He took a hit as he threw it and couldn't deliver the football. It's incomplete and fourth down's coming. Yeah. Looking to go up top on first down. Fires to the wide out. How about getting the foot down on that throw for the big completion? Big play like that to open a drive just builds the confidence. Now first down from the 46. He uncorks one deep. Got it in stride inside the 20. Touchdown, Maryland! And they grab the advantage, taking the lead here in the fourth. Yeah, and a nice job in the fourth quarter making plays, and a nice job being on the same page. QB, receiver, you could tell. He broke with the football, he caught it in stride, gets into the end zone. Nice pitch and catch right there. Nice chemistry by the QB and wide receiver. Looking for room. It's Hemby. That may not look like a huge run, but they'll take it as it gets him up to the 24. Quick timeout call by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. They're in control. The clock is their friend. You'd have to expect another run here on second and six. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Timeout called there by the defense, desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. Working on the right. The defense got caught that time, and they finally get him on the ground at the 41. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. Well, offensively, they knew they were going to have some matchups they could take advantage of in this one. And all of a sudden, this quarterback has now over 300 yards passing in the game. Defensively, David, he has got them on their heels. And he's been showing you a little bit of everything. He can throw it all over the field to all different receivers, to his tight ends, to his running backs. Really has the ability to spread it around. And now over 300 yards. Still some time left, and he can put up even bigger numbers. And heck, go chase some awards, man. Get some postseason awards. Get it all, American. Just put up a day. It came down to the final quarter. Clutch plays, guys delivered, and they get the close win. Yeah, Reese, big time players make big plays in big games, and that's what happened in this circumstance. As a coaching staff, David, you love this. You know that you have confidence in your guys to go out and be able to execute when it matters the most. Correct, and you don't know until the games, right? You don't know when those moments present themselves. How are they going to handle it? Great job handling the close game, executing down the stretch like they needed to. 
That's going to do it for us from here. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis, and this has been another.